if you want to buy cheap coins to buy the players that you want in FIFA 15, make sure you get them from FIFA suppliers. They're a very reliable source. Make sure you use the link in the description. Welcome everybody, this is Game Games Master One here and today I'm going to make you guys a video on my top 10 center backs. Unfortunately my brother dropped the ball and he's not at home at the moment so I wasn't able to record the video but I promise you guys a double upload and a double upload you shall receive. So once we, what I want you guys to do now, get this video to 200 likes and then comment below tell me what's your top 10 center backs, top 5 center backs. Or even when this video ends, tell me if I missed out someone, somebody should be post higher. And you guys commented, told me I forgot to put Sergio, and you guys are right. He deserves to be like at least number five spot on that list. But without further ado, let's get into the top 10 center back one. And don't forget, this is off based on my opinion. This is very biased based on who helped you get to Division 1 and who can compete on Division 1 level. So in number 10, we got David. Luis. People used to love this guy since FIFA 12. Just the OP cheap center back. And he's still pretty good. However, that high attacking work rate lets him down sometimes. But he's fast, he's strong, he can dribble, he can pass. Physical defending. If you know me, I love to pass with my center back. So, really good. 6'2", tall guy. It's just that, media, that high attacking work rate kind of drops the ball. If he has medium work rate, medium attacking and maybe high defensive, I would say he's up there like top 5. But you see there's 6,000 coins, he's pretty cheap honestly. So that's for the number 10 spot. Number 9, we got the German that plays for Borussia Dortmund. It's Madsen Hummels. This guy's going for 20k which kind of surprised me. Usually FIFA players like pace but again this game is not based on pace, it's more of Who's better at slide tackling as in center backs? Hummels actually, I use him, as you saw in my last video, I use him in 3 5 2, and he's still. I only conceded one goal against Walker, Defoe, and Ashley Young. 66 pace, doesn't matter. He has 88 defending, he has crazy high uh, stand tackles, I mean, slide tackles and stand tackles, and heading's fantastic, and he's strong, he could pass well. He's 6 foot 4, which is fucking awesome. However, that high attacking work rate also kind of keeps him down there the number 9 spot. Again, some of these players, if they had better work rates, they, they that's the difference between like a A and a B, between like an 88% or a 91%. So that's the number 9 position. Number 8, this guy, I find him to be kind of OP in this game, and it's Gary Cahill. I've used this guy in all my BPL squads, and this guy's fucking good. He's going for 7,000 at the moment, 81 rated center back. However, he's fast. He has amazing slide tackles, stand tackles, he's 6 foot 4, very good work rates, he's physical, he's physical as well, so I really don't see why or reason not to buy him, especially if you have a BPL team, can't afford company, this guy is your guy. So that's for number 8, number 7, he's a guy that I used early game in FIFA, very fast, and it's Martin Casters. This guy, I think he's one of the fastest center backs that I've used in this game, and he has 82 pace, 82 defending, 77 physical, and high defensive work rate. I've used this guy in the 3 5 2, and oh my god, he, I, opponent's gonna score. Him, and you're gonna see a couple of center backs. I have in the back, they couldn't score a goal on me. Caceres is your guy in the Serie A squad. Super fast. My, set, my number 6 spot, he kind of tied for number 7, but I really didn't know what to choose, and it's Andrea Barzegli. So it was hard to decide since Casters has more pace, but Barzagli has that low attacking work rate and better slide tackles. It was really hard to tell, like they're honestly equal to me. 75 pace, 86 defending, that's unreal. 79 physical, but we should really focus on that low attacking, high defensive. That's just crazy for a center back, it's very, very useful. For 3k, that's hella cheap, you guys gotta pick him up. Now we're in the top. Five. Number 5, we got Sergio Ramos, probably going to be in the team of the year as he does in every year of FIFA, but again, he's just really good in the game, really good in real life too, it's just if he had medium attacking work rate, he would go for at least 200k, 300k, but nevertheless, he has 79 pace, 87 defending, 82 physical, 71 passing, I love that shit. And he's just so reliable in the back. Not in a 3-5-2, he'll kind of push up too high and 
we we'll have two in the back. But in the four in the back formation, I would put him in the back for sure. He's definitely one of the best center backs in the game. So he's for number five, and he's going for 120k. So I wouldn't really say he's cheap. Number four, we got this guy. He definitely got a boost from last FIFA, and we're talking about Jerome Boateng. This guy is still going for 30k. He was going for like 50k early game, but again, 77 pace. Anything above 72 pace for a center back, in my opinion, is kind of is really good. This guy is 77. He has really good defending, really good physical, medium medium work rates, and he's six foot four. So that slide tackle, that extra uh, intro to, he's gonna get that. And he's just the best center back in the Bundesliga, honestly. One of my favorites in the game. So number four goes to Boateng. Now we're left with three more uh, positions. And number three, I'm gonna have to give this one to Vincent's company. I know, I know, he's not up there, but believe me, I have my reasons behind that. Company, best center back in the BPL. Big ass motherfucker, six foot four. Pacey, 87 defending, 81 physical. That's, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need in a center back. Pace, defending, physical, and height. And this guy is just one big motherfucker in the back. And then 352, he works like a charm. He's just so good in the back. Very light line. He's going for 70k. I honestly think he's worth it. But if you can't afford him, get Kabul. Kind of like a cheaper version of him. Uh, so now we're left with two more spots. And number two, I'm gonna give this one to Giorgio Kellini. And this guy is also exact same thing I want to say about company. However, he has that high defensive work rate. I'm telling you, the work rate just makes that little difference between a player. But he's exact same thing, same pace, really good defending, really good physical. When I had on the three of five two, I was telling you guys about, I had Kellini, Casper, Sparzagli, three five two. I kept so many clean sheets with them in the back. They're so reliable. And Kellini is going for 11k. Like, Serie A, you can make like the best possible Serie A team for so cheap with like Berzagli, Kellini, Caceres, and Tevez, and Ibarbo, and I don't know, you guys figured that out, but very reliable in the back, amazing slide tackles, very strong. He has the number two spot, now we're left with the number one position, and you know it's coming, it's not even a question, and it's Thiago Silva. This guy wins it for me, best center back in FIFA. 15. And I've used this guy a lot because you know me, I made a lot of teams with Zlatan and he was always that chemistry link. He's always when you make a Zlatan team. You need like a PSG side from the one side and then another league from the other side. But again, 78 pace. The only guy faster than him is Castro's, but still 78 pace for a center back is fucking crazy. 90 defending. His slide tackles are crazy. His stand tackles are crazy. His positioning is awesome. His interceptions are awesome. He's so good. Physical, he pushes off and off the ball. He has high defensive work rates, he stays in the back, and the dribbling and the passing for me, what really stands out for me, because I love passing with my center backs, because I try to keep possession sometimes. And with that passing stat, that makes him fucking awesome. And yeah, these are my top 10 center backs at FIFA 15. If you have a different player, did I forget anyone off the list? Should I move somebody in the ranks? Comment below, I'll read all the comments and share your opinion. And get this video 200 likes, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here. I will see you motherfuckers next time. Peace out.